It's a tragic and familiar scene along the Trans-Canada Highway near Carberry. A smashed stop sign, tire tracks, families rushing to their loved ones in hospital after a serious crash Monday night. A vehicle heading southbound entered the intersection making a east or wanting to make an eastbound turn uh, at that point struck a vehicle. Both then hit a third. Three people were rushed to hospital including a woman in her 40s airlifted in critical condition. All are expected to survive but it's bringing back painful memories. Just steps away, 17 crosses for the lives of seniors killed in a crash at that same intersection just six weeks ago. A couple of the officers that responded to this collision yesterday were on duty uh, for that incident in June. So that could be a triggering moment for bringing back memories. Six people from that June crash are still in hospital. This latest crash is renewing calls for change. And I can tell you point blank that every resident of Carberry has had a close call at that intersection at one point in time or another. It's one of the busiest uncontrolled intersections along the Trans-Canada Highway in Manitoba. Drivers on Highway 5 need to cross four lanes of traffic. The province says pavement markings and rumble strips will be added to the area within the next two weeks and advanced warning signs will be installed shortly after. We want to make sure the, that you know, safety is, is paramount and uh, making sure that all the people driving through that intersection are, are safe. The former mayor of Carberry says there needs to be an overpass. Anything less is a band-aid solution that will lead to more deaths. That's the sad reality of it. It's disconcerting. It's disheartening. You wish that there would be a change. The province's safety review, which could lead to bigger changes, is expected to be completed by late fall. Brittany Greenslade, CBC News, Winnipeg.